Because Odin, the the Ring of Spears we've seen have been like either really successful or really just kind of mediocre in the mm -hmm. professional top tier play. Yeah. So how does it come into a factor? How does with as aggressive as Kiki is going to be, Wolfie really needs to look to ultimate right into the lane, come behind him, really chain stun them, and do just as much damage to Baka as humanly possible. But Jerby's going to actually get first blood there on Elbro Chacho. Uh, red buff did go down. Incon's going to wall in Elbro Chacho uh -oh. here. No follow up. Curious play there. Jerby now uh, going to kite away. There's going to be a ROM ultimate, in fact, on top of him as uh, Wolfie comes forward and they clean that up easy peasy. The ultimate from Kiki Hulkin ripping through, but nothing doing there as the return oh, kill. Second this. kill of the game comes out from Thirst. And, and meanwhile, all the way over on the other side, yeah, Thor is actually going to be Justice taken here, here by. Yeah, in, in the jungle. Yeah, and, and you know, looking at it, I mean, it's Thor normally. I mean, we do see beads on him from time to time, but he's traditionally a very, very safe character. I mean, you have your get out of jail free. They, they, they have really good items already on the line here for as low of a kill as it is. But, I mean, when you take a look at the gold difference, I mean, 3,600 wow. and 4,500. They did a lot of damage there to, uh, to Weekend trying to, I'm sorry, to Asher trying to dive in. But Allied overextends here is going to get blown up by the rotation from Jacob Malfoy. And People have that, you know, oh, Jeremy misses his ultimates, right? I, and I think he still wants to continue to prove people wrong. <laughs> yeah. And I think every time he plays with a chip on his shoulder. Which is, I mean, that's a great way to play. Yeah, it is. It's I mean, really it, it is. keeps it keeps everybody really okay. honest. Incon actually to throw out the slow. Now they're going to turn their attention to Brochacha. Birdbug coming through. Athena ultimate coming down. Elbro Chacha takes a lot of damage out of that one. Weekend, does he have another taunt available? There's the Alguang ultimate. Oh, there it back is! Into it. Jerby finds 925 damage already in this game. That Book of Toth stacked up so oh, far. Jake Owens took trouble. Oh. He's actually going to go down to the burst, trying to get out damage before falling back. Asher throwing pot shots in, but it's going to eat a tornado for his trouble. Win. And the mid lane now, Kiki Rinoff forcing Fusion OP to stay stuck under tower when the rest of the team's going to go ahead and finish up the Gold Fury here and snipe with positional advantage. Take the Gold Fury here for the second time at 15 and a half minutes. Okay, Astro got hit by one Whirlwind and he was under half health. That is damning. Oh, yeah, Jeremy's in a lot of trouble here, though. He's actually going to take the right path out. Uh, Ultimate going to come out and okay. try to juke back into it. Uh, looking okay. The Athena Ultimate coming down. They want to fight this here, but Geb's here as well. The Thor wall actually blocking Elbro Chacho out. Oh, that's so rough oh, for them. Jeremy man, is going to die to the good. in hands from the Geb, but here comes the rest of Spike. Oh, look at Kiki regurgitate under the tower. No problem. There's going to be one. They are going to be in the Ring of Spears. Alad's going to take with Valkyrie's discretion. Gets himself one kill. Bro Chacho, down you go as well. All up to Astro and Vamana. Confusion OP do enough damage here. He's going to be able to do some, but they're underneath the tower. They're not yeah, going to be worried about there. this. Curious play there by Wolfie to crash Very. into that Odin ring. Oh, and they're actually going to go for their reinitiation here. Fusion OP uh, taking a lot. Actually, not taking too much damage. Finally yeah, under half damage. health now. And then look at Astro. He's actually laying down the wall here. He just needs to hit this. The banish. Oh, so heartbreaking. Yeah. But we'll see. I mean, the, the Warlock Sash over time will in, uh, eventually grant him additional magical power with the, the, the mana that it grants. Uh, Astro going to be forcing his ultimate as Incon's ultimate is there. Allied uh, taking a lot of damage here, in fact. As Wolfie comes crashing in, he's going to try to pick up the kill on the Astro, but here comes Shaco as well. Jeremy right on his tail. and This one's going to be a bloodbath, it looks like, as they're going to drop down into these tornadoes, hitting uh -oh. both players now. Jaco already finding the kill on the Allied as well as Astro falling in this fight already. Uh, Weekend's cooldown's coming back online as Wolfie's going to need a lot of damage from this taunt. The Gep Shield's going to be there to get him out of the back half of the damage. Jaco's going to be back online as well with his damage throwing out the Unstable Vortex, but not before Wolfie's goes down and not enough for them to re-engage and try to find anything on the back of it into this team. Well, that that's the thing that's suffering. Uh-oh. Uh Bro Chacho going to be caught in the Ring of Spears. Jaco Malfoy makes his presence known. Here comes Weekend. Weekend taking some damage down. Out he goes. Incon now just really just baiting for his team. Fusion OP trying to get something going here, but he's not able to follow it up at all. Kiki wants to make a play onto Astro, but he's going to be forced to bug out the Astro ultimate coming through as well. Weekend, I'm sorry, Wolfie is in the air. He's going to go under tower for Kiki. Does he have the damage? He will indeed. Yeah. As Berserk Mirage comes through, he's going to port on out of there. We can They're not going to be able to contest this early. Well, speaking of contention, it needs to come out shortly from Thirst as the Gold Fury is coming together. Allied and Kiki. Nope, they're going to reset it. Just bait. As Gap actually is oh going God. in through space and time as well. They're going to try to take a fight here. Will Thirst. Ring coming out as well. Going to avoid some damage. There's an Athena ultimate going to come crashing down. The burst is there doing a lot of damage. Wolfie forced to get out of this fight, but not before taking out Allied. So there goes the magical sustained damage from the boys of Snipe. Chasing everyone out is going to be Fusion OP as well. The rest of the team thinks about reinitiating, but they're going to get backsided by Wolfie here. He puts out that Berserker Barrage on top of Mjolnir. Oh Newman. my god, Incon's look at gonna Kiki! Incon's going to survive just barely. Kiki juking away from Fusion is going to be A-OK. -okay. Now it's going to be Incon that the chase is on. Kiki actually, he kills Fusion OP there. Yep, madness. Him and, him and Jerby actually double backed and went in on it, and now we actually are seeing the Gold Fury attempt. Jerby has the ability to do this right now. He does have line? ultimate. He has a, oh. he, he's got this. In comes it, missing. How did it miss everybody? 
it, poor guy. I, I, <laughs> you know, like, that's just so heartbreaking. Like, he needed that. Wolfie actually might die if he can hit a auto attack here. Uh, there's going to be waiting for it. He's going to dip out of oh, here. He's Wolfie's going to be chasing. And he is he going to just throw down a whirlwind? No, no he's he already not. had it down on the ground. That's heartbreaking, man. He missed it. It's not going to go too, too deep here. Now, Fusion's going to try to zone out Kiki. As Spike continues to rage on, but it looks like this is just a lot of uh, individual skirmishes going out. Incon leaping out of his ring. Oh, Kiki's got to be careful. Kiki, Kiki has won. Happy to fight. Now, he's uh, also going to leap out. Now, it's a Weekend going to keep brilliant taunt. Locked under tower. Fusion up. He is going to eat the tornado. And his ally is there as well. That's going to be a quick kill. And Thirst takes a, a ugly engagement, actually, and lose two now as uh, on the backside of that. Wolfie actually did fall as well. Oh, they're well. not done now, yet. Yeah, Allied hit that banish. They banished him. Allied. Uh, does have the Fatalis, as we mentioned, though, so he's going to be able to keep up pace here. Astro does have the crit, so his damage is a bit higher in some cases here. Astro going to eat Look that. Look at that oh, slow! Oh, well my God, played, that's a nightmare! Terms. Yeah, that's that squall slow coming through. Oh, yeah, cutting, that's what you got to do. Cutting down uh, their available paths and down he goes. Dynasty Plate Helm is indeed picked up on the side of Weekend. This is, of course, the uh, Magical Power, Physical Prot, and Pen item. Not the uh, 3,000 gold. Are they serious item. right now with this? Wow, yeah, looks like uh, Thirst wants to try to contest this, but they've been up more than they can chew as the ring comes out, and this is, well, that's a power buff <laughs> going yep. on the side of Kiki there, or I'm sorry, on the side of Odin there. Kiki as uh, Blue is also that up. And, that. Yeah, wow, this is so. going to be a fire giant for free as the Gev is down. And, uh, well, you know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of tilt there by, by Thirst. Yep, a dead matchup. There was nothing he was going against. He, would, he didn't need it. Yeah, that's right. Well, but I mean, that's kind of the the zen of the solo lane, itemizing for the mid game. Yep. Ultimate coming out yet again from Jerks here. Uh, I'll raise his Astro off of the field as Weekend did the beginning damage. He's actually going to go down to the in hit from Jayco. In the meantime, Fusion OP tries to make big plays, but gets blown up by Ally yet again. And uh, well, and Wolfie now blew that ultimate. He he was a little bit off there, but that's always going to be. It's very hard to initiate when you're Thor being behind number one, but also going in on a Kukulkin when he's sitting right next to the easy. Oh my god, look at this. Megarian male going to be picked up by Kiki as well. Oh god, there. allied! Just even more of this. Yeah, allied's going to go ahead and pop oh, you're crazy. Move in with the Athena. That's a clever interaction that we don't see too much of. Thor's taking this guy. He wants to re-engage onto allied here. And uh, let's see, the Rommel ultimate used as well. There comes a crash on the allied. She'll be able to pick this up, but they've really divided themselves. And they're going to lose Fusion OP in the process. Ultimate from Jerby coming through, but his target's already dead. He's trying to get them off of Ooh. his back. As he's trying to get out of this fight, juking Astro best he can. Going to be successful. Now going to be able to hide behind his teammates in the Tornadoes as well. A lot of damage coming out in this fight from Jeremy. The slow coming out as well. <laughs> Kiki trying to do his damage. Midgarian male proccing a couple times there as well. Kiki actually able to disengage. And there you wow. see a great example of those slows. The two Midgarian males, the Gem of Isolation, all combining with those Fatalises. Just they can get in and out of that fight so easily. We can coming back in, talking Wolfie into it. The bird bomb coming through as well. So much magical burst damage there. The physical coming through from Odin. And that's two more kills. A double kill for Jeremy that with those Tornadoes. Nasty re -engage. So it's not looking good for Thirst to contest this one. Yeah, and actually Wolfie electing to go with a transcendence here on Thor. That is quite late. <laughs> it's upset. I mean, it's the highest physical, single yeah. physical damage contributing item uh, that he could pick up at this stage. Uh, but he's got to get it stacked up somehow. And then uh -oh. he's shield on top of Jacob Malfoy. Well, yep, you saw exactly what the Soul Reaver does right there. Is he melt off more likely than not. Want to get that Phoenix away from the side of the Fire Giant, giving them that strategic advantage. Um, you know, it, well, uh, one last time here as we approach the 39-minute uh, mark and the fight goes out here. Fusion OP going to make that Gep Shield nice and big as he turns that big oh form, but the magic damage is just too real, and down he does go. Kiki or not with that true damage coming through. It's a true damage on top of the magic damage, which is damn near true at this point anyway. Uh, 39 minutes in. Last chance to go check out Jerby's POV stream at C-R-O-N-I-N-L-O-L on Twitch, uh, but looks like it's going to have to be quick because this game is looking over and it is looking to be snipes game as they pile in to the order titan wolfing his banished out he may take another spill here as well in con trying to zone out el brochacho ally does finish off wolfing. too much damage brochacho gonna do what he can ally takes this guy doesn't matter too much damage down goes the titan and up